the other thing that I often talk to patients and young people about is just um, taking a bit of control over, you know, what you tell your friends and, and I guess feeling free to give your friends a bit of direction about what you need and what you're wanting from them. Because I think what you have to remember is if you're 16 and you've just been diagnosed with cancer, obviously it's a huge shock for you. But chances are your friends have never met anyone who's had cancer either. And so that means they probably have no idea how to act around a, you know, a young cancer patient. They've got no idea what to say or what not to say, what to do or what not to do. Um, and so oftentimes what they do in, in that sort of uncertain state is just kind of not do anything at all. And kind of that can come across as a bit like they just kind of not talk about it and a bit, you know, that can feel a bit rejecting from the patient's point of view. So I think sometimes it's okay to just be pretty direct and just say, say to your friends, you know, hey, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like this at the moment because of, you know, this is going on with treatment. You know, would you be able to do this? Or do you reckon we could do that? Or you know, just tell them what it, what it is that you're needing. And also tell them, you know, what's okay to talk about and what's, what you prefer not to talk about. I think people are much happier to be given direction. Then at least they know kind of the no-go zones and, and things like that.